Oke, okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yeah, um, for this afternoon, I would like to share my materials. Um, before delivering this material, I would like to greet all of you um, presenters that already um, present in this kind of um, great conference. Um, well, the material that I'm going to discuss for this afternoon, we'll be talking about teachers' competence on digital teachings during pandemic, because um, the theme we'll be talking about the ICD. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to um, introduce myself. My name is Abdul Gopurs. I'm the president of Indonesian um, Education Share to Care Volunteers. Um, my activities for today, um, I'm a lecturer in EAN Madura and others. You can um, read by yourself. Okay. Um, what I'm going to share with you this afternoon, the first one we talk about what to is e-learning and the growth up of the internet and e-learning blended mode, building an e-learning culture, and then um, talk about the completion of our discussions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, come up to our um, um, mind. What is actually e-learning? When talking about the e-learning itself, we have to think about the concept and the definition of the e-learnings. But today, the internet has become one of the vital ways to make available resources for research and learning for both teachers and students to share, acquire information that technology-based e-learning composes the use of the internet and other important technologies to produce material for learning, teach learners, and also regulate courses in um, um, organizations. There has been extensive debate about a common definition of the term e-learning itself. Existing definition according to Dublin, he said that um, revealing the specifications Revealing the specializations and interests of the researchers. E learning itself also as a concept covers a ring of applications, learning method, and also processes. It is therefore difficult to find a commonly accepted definition for the term e learning itself, and, and um, it is even no common definition for the term. In this case, it's such a common on this inconsistency actually by saying that. There um, uh, may be a definition, many definition to of the term e-learning as um, their academic papers on the subjects in trying to find a common meaning of the term e-learning. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and also all the participants. Does it I mean using a virtual learning environment such as today's activity supporting the um, provision of our campus based on um, the applications? In this case, in some definition, e-learning encompasses more than just the offering of the Wooly online courses. That's one. Wooly online courses, such kind of um, courses and others. Okay. What about the third of the e-learning itself? <clears throat> the first one, what we are happening for today is that internet has started reshaping education. In this case, education will not be the same in the next decade. I mean, by internet itself, the e-learning refers to on the use of information and communication technologies. Now we are talking about the technologies that enable to access the online, online learning teaching resources. In this case, it down to mean learning that is empowered by the use of digital technology itself. But the second one, we're talking there is no going back. I mean, the traditional system has to be transformed. We have to think some, some um, um, the new ones, the new technology that, that improve our um, daily um, activities. And for the third, it will be talking that Many universities, colleagues, and also students may not survive by the, the end of this decade. As we know that not all the school, not all their um, school principal could fulfill the infer 
the infrastructure dealing with um, um, fulfilling. Now, the evening market for today will growing fast and expensive. Why I say that it is a bit expensive because there are so many kind of courses of English, any kind of discipline that should be paid. That's not just such kind of um, um, uh, the cheaper ones. Yeah, only about one percent of the population have taken an online courses, and also e-learning is still new for them. Yeah, e-learning still new for them. I mean, when we talk about the e-learning itself, it will be based on the summaries of its characteristic. In the first place, the, they propose a multimedia environment. Secondly, they incorporate several kinds of information, learning system, support by collaborative communication and others. It is called the e-learning for them is still new. So we could say that they entering a cultural shock for today's um, education. Learning will going to be what I'm going to share here will be talk about something that um, the important one of education and training that form one of the largest sectors of the economy in, in most countries. Over the last decade, the number of corporate universities grew from 400 up to um, 100 and um, 1,000 and hundreds. By this kind of new environment for learning that is centered on electronic network has allowed learners in university to receive individual support and also to have learning schedules that is more suitable to them as well as spirit from other learners. This facilitated a high interaction and collaboration level between instructors and, um, um, instructor and also the teachers and peer than um, traditional environment for learning. So in this case, e-learning itself in academic, which is characterized by um, um, the use of multimedia construct that made the process of learning more active, interesting, and also enjoyable. So in this case, the main contracts that have um, uh, made e-learning the most promising educational core technology, it will be include such kind of services, course, quality, speed, that the parent that e-learning can empower our students at a higher educational level on also to acquire their education in wire and at um, the same time pursuing the personal objectives as well as maintaining their own careers. So we could say that from the above um, definition and also discussion, it is difficult to identify that the common definition for e-learning itself will be some as a providing complete online courses. That is for today, it will be so expensive. Only where a complex well supplemented and web dependent service for the provision of education or support processes. But for the third ones, that 40% of fortune for 500 companies have established corporate universities. So in this case, there are so many um, universities that are that, um, um, funded by, by any companies. Scale job now represent 85% of all jobs in US and also in contrast to 20% um, uh, uh, in 1950. So in this is for today, there are so many kind of um, um, increasing. Okay. A big growth is expected in the education market. I give you just an example dealing with the student population in U.S. college. It is from to um, at the turn of the century to certain billion for today. In Malay, for example, with one university in 1957 to recover 20 public and also private university. And also the U.S. Army has supplies online with its borders and the future soldier will not be carried, done, but the computer will be something that is very important for today's. Okay. While for the two days, the internet users will continue to grow 
Okay, you could um, um, read this kind of data, Asia, Europe, Africa, and others. Okay, it will be increasing. The data are uh, taken in um, um, June 2021. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it will be the, the real data that, that the using of internet uh, will be continue to grow. Okay, now, so what's actually the impact? Now take a look at their, their process. At the beginning of the equation, they use that kind of a leaf to, to, um, to writing down that kind of um, 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 the leaf of the, the tree. And then they use that kind of paper. After that, they use phone cell and others, televisions. And then for today, they are good. Uh, use that kind of their creative for impact of this time. So it is something that are very important for us to know um, the process of um, the interested user for the crowd. Okay. How about the name on a bland mode? Okay, now take a look. Chalk and board has a long rule in the classroom. We have to be known that that chalk and board for today it is not um, it is uh, ready to use, but in other places it's still used for today. Okay, and the process of substitution for today we'll be talking about the interactive digital content. It's yeah more emphasizes on the mainly interactive and also it is easier for them to use. Now, what about our national the agenda? Now take a look from the infrastructure that their, their nationals, um, 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 the government provide from for today. Communication, fiber optic cabling, GDPRTM and satellite, and also the transport, um, logistic and others. In this case, the people try to think, work with culture, so, uh, culture shock by ICD skill, knowledge of workers, learning and society, united, more and ethical. In this case, the application will be the smart school, e-government, smart car, telemedicine, and others that um, every people use that kind of the product of technology. Okay. okay. Maybe the conclusion, sir. Okay. It's very interesting, yeah. but time is okay. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. I I try to skip with with um um um. Okay. It, it is. It is the delivery mode will that we're going to be changing the growing of student populations, increasing tuition fee and others. Okay. And the next one will be um, yeah, it will be the benefit, yeah. Okay, there's so many kind of items that, that I should be um, talking about. So what how the teachers obligation for today? Use all available technology, include all and new, encourage collaborative learning, a lifelong education. It is something that should be should be a thing and thing by the teachers for today. Okay, and spilling an in-learning culture. Okay. Yep. Okay, come up to the last one. When we are talking about when we are talking about this one, we are going to talk about something that ICT and e-learning offers opportunity to raise education standard in our school. In large ring of IT tools are available for teaching and also learning. And then it will be close the gap by using on digital device. Okay. Involvement of teachers and parents is important. Schools will need funding, access, and also training. Okay, that's all that I could um, share with you for this afternoon. And uh, as the president of um, Indonesian Safety Fair, I'm going to greet you all and thanks for your attention. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.